In wave particle duality, we know that photons can kick out electrons, showing that they are both particles. We also know that the double split experiment shows that electrons create wave interference that in interferes with itself, so it's a wave, okay? So, electrons are waves and particles just like photons, but anybody who's ever used a battery knows how we use electrons as a particle, all right? How do we use electrons as a wave? Is there anything we do that says we take the wave part of the electron and we use that instead of the particle? So, uh, let me take a back door into your question. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So imagine a wave. We call that a sinusoid, but it's up and down like right. from a sine wave. If you're using light that has this wavelength and you want to take a photo of anything that has detail that's smaller than that wavelength, you ain't getting it. Right. Light of this wavelength cannot resolve any detail smaller than its own wavelength. So how do electron microscopes work? Okay, well, let's look at wavelengths. We get in order of reducing wavelengths. So red, orange, yellow, green, blue, violet, Ultraviolet. ultraviolet. Okay. What comes after ultraviolet? X-rays. X-rays. Okay. Really small wavelengths. You can see things really, in that, really tiny. In that, uh, okay. So what you do is you heat up electrons until their wave equivalent is X-rays. Oh, snap. And then you beam the electrons to the- And then you can take pictures of, 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 of the stuff. Of, it's at that wavelength. The hairs oh. on the edges of insects. So that's things. why they call it an electron microscope. That's why. Because the wave particle duality is being exploited for that technology. For that technology.